A reading from the second book of Samuel. King David said to Joab and to the senior army officers who were with him, Now, go throughout the tribes of Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, and take a census of the people. I wish to know the size of the population. Having covered the whole country, they returned to Jerusalem at the end of nine months and twenty days. Joab gave the king the figures for the census of the people. Israel numbered 800,000 armed men capable of drawing sword, and Judah 500,000 men. But afterwards, David's heart misgave him for having taken a census of the people. I have committed a grave sin, David said to the Lord, but now, Lord, I beg you to forgive your servant for this fault. I have been very foolish. But when David got up next morning, the following message had come from the Lord to the prophet Gad, David's seer. Go and say to David, The Lord says this, I offer you three things, choose one of them for me to do to you. So Gad went to David and told him, Are three years of famine to come on you and your country? he said. Or will you flee for three months before your pursuing enemy? Or would you rather have three days' pestilence in your country? Now think, and decide how I am to answer him who sends me. David said to Gad, This is a hard choice, but let us rather fall into the power of the Lord, since his mercy is great, and not into the power of men. So David chose pestilence. It was the time of the wheat harvest. The Lord sent a pestilence on Israel from the morning till the time appointed, and plague ravaged the people, and from Dan to Beersheba seventy thousand men of them died. The angel stretched out his hand towards Jerusalem to destroy it, but the Lord thought better of this evil, and he said to the angel who was destroying the people, Enough! Now withdraw your hand. The angel of the Lord was beside the threshing floor of Araona the Jebusite. When David saw the angel who was ravaging the people, he spoke to the Lord. It was I who sinned, he said, I who did this wicked thing, but these, this flock, what have they done? Let your hand be heavy on me, then, and on my family. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus went to his hometown and his disciples accompanied him. With the coming of the Sabbath he began teaching in the synagogue, and most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, where did the man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him and these miracles that are worked through him? This is the carpenter, surely, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Jude and Simon. His sisters too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations and in his own house and he could work no miracle there, though he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord